Good morning out there in the DFS community. It's Vaughn, the stat man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the stat room. All right, ladies and gentlemen, last night, it was a, it was an average night. I had um my baseball contest for the main slate. It came out at 171. I actually posted that on Twitter. My early baseball slate, um, it didn't do well because I, I didn't check it like I was supposed to, and I missed a player. One of my players was a, um, a late game scratch, so that kind of hurt. When you can't, and then my my late my um, main slate, I had a player that I missed as well. So if I would have caught the player that I missed in both games, I probably would have done even better. Instead of 171, I probably would have had like a 180, 190, which would have mean it would have been more money. All right, so for my NBA main slate, I had one coming out of 307. And that one I used John Wall, Mike Conley, CJ McCollum, Wayne Selden Jr., Maurice Harkless, Evan Turner, um, Draymond Green, Paul Millsap, and JaVale McGee. So... It's it, it it did it did well you know it could have it could have been a lot better you know but hey I'd rather have that score and one that did okay than have both of them be really bad. All right guys, so you know me I'm on to today. All right, so today um, we got a, a four game slate and we got a bunch of closeout games today. So today teams are basically just fighting for pride, you know. So you have Utah basically they just I mean I'm. Not Utah, I apologize. You have Indiana fighting for pride. Now, Jeff Teague said they're not going to get swept. So we shall see. All right, guys, so I'm going to go right into the four horsemen. All right, so for my point guard, I'm going with Patrick Beverly. For my shooting guard, I'm going with Lou Williams. For my small forward, I'm going to go with Paul George. And for my power forward, I'm going to go with Taj Gibson. All right, guys, so that's my four horsemen. All right, so a guy asked me, um, like he asked me, this was about the contest that happened two days ago. Why did I say that I had um did really bad? And he was like, well, you had a, a you had one game that was a winner, and another game that was a winner, and then a game one game that was not a winner. To me, if all my contests don't finish in the money, it's a bad night. Like last night, I had two contests in the money, two contests not in the money. That's a bad night to me. I want to win a hundred percent of the time. At least 90% of the time, you know, I don't want to accept, you know, two wins and one loss because when you start accepting that, then you'll start accepting mediocrity and then you'll start to regress. Let me tell you something about life, ladies and gentlemen. You don't stay the same in life. Every day you wake up, you either improve as a person or you regress. If you're not doing like positive motivational videos, you know, if you want to be the top real estate investor, you should read the three top books on whatever it is you want to do. Now, if you're not doing those things, you're regressing. You know, life is about improving or you will regress. You know, so if you want to be great at being a father, you have to put effort into that. You know, if you want to be a real estate investor that that knows his stuff, you need to go to start going to real estate seminars. You know, so in life, man, you can't just 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 coast and and accept mediocrity and think you're going to be great. You know, anything that you want to do takes effort and like I said, if you want to change the world, a lot of people say they want to change the world. Well, you only can change the world if you change yourself. You know, the world can't be a better place if you still crappy. You know, if you still unmotivated, if you still not bringing value to people's lives, you know, and, and also the, the way that the universe works, the way that you get what you want is if you don't operate in win-win, you will never be successful. The reason why I'm successful is because I give you guys lineups. I go out, I see a homeless guy on the side of the road, I'll give him food, you know, I do things for my moms, I'll break my neck for my mother. You know, if you don't do these kind of things, you won't be successful. You might be rich, but you will never be successful. All right, guys, so I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed what I did. You can hit the like button, you can subscribe to me, and love you guys.